If you had told me six months ago that I'd be this excited about a web browser, I would have been completely and utterly confused. That was until I was introduced to Arc. Arc is a browser that completely flips the way that you work and makes browsing an actual joy. They are constantly releasing updates and fixes to help improve your experience. And I think for creative people, there couldn't be a better solution. I was going to introduce you to three of Arc's features that I couldn't get enough of. But as I was getting ready to film this video, Arc dropped a bomb of a feature that really can't be overlooked. So I'll share that one with you at the end. Firstly, so often we're working on laptops and small screens and on a regular browser, you have some of that precious real estate taken up by a messy search bar at the top. With Arc, they have a full screen mode that shows you only the page you're currently working on. Secondly, and the feature that I could not live without is the Arc video player. Are you ever learning a new program and going back and forth between YouTube and the program, stopping and starting the video? The Arc player means that if you're watching a video and move out of the tab or program, a smaller adjustable window will follow you so you can continue watching without being in that tab. This is a game changer, even if you're just taking notes and want to watch while writing down things that you might have learned. Next is the feature that Arc is really built around. Their idea is creating a clutter-free internet experience, so they have done away with standard tabs, which are forever getting cluttered, especially if you have different hobbies, jobs, and internet needs that will quickly turn to chaos. Arc revolves around spaces, which are essentially workspaces to group together different tabs with different needs. I use one group for standard work like emails, browsing Google, YouTube, and calendar, and then one for learning DaVinci Resolve and one for wedding video inspiration. Keeping these spaces different keeps my browser and my head clutter free. Within spaces, there are three main types of tabs. The top tabs are icons and they stay there no matter what space you're in. They support previews if you hover over them so you can do things like seeing if any new emails have popped up without actually going into the email page. When you do a web search or open up a new web page, that tab will come up below the new tab line. These tabs will hang around for 12 hours before disappearing, helping keep your space clean of old content. If you drag a tab above the new tab line, it'll stay in your space permanently and be a part of your space until you're done with it. Now for the new feature that is just mind boggling. You can literally edit any website, like any. This feature is called Boosts and they are your own edited version of a website that will open every time you open that site. This can easily be toggled on and off to go back to the original state of that site. Watch this. Up in the top corner, there's a little paintbrush icon that helps you create a website boost. This gives you options to zap or remove any parts of the website that you don't use or don't want to see, as well as changing text size, fonts, and website colors. You also have the ability to see and apply boosts that other people have created if you don't want to make your own. Now there are so many other features that are part of Arc that really make it a joy to work with and plenty more features that will have been released when you're watching this video. So I recommend downloading it and giving it a try. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and if you are keen to learn along with me in the future, I would always appreciate a subscribe. Have a great day.